Hello, everybody. It's Michelle here. Yes, I'm back. Thank you all so much for your well wishes. If you don't know what was going on, I had a cold, and then I was feeling better, and then I tried to get back to my schedule, and then some, and my body was sort of like, where are you going? We, we didn't agree to this, <laughs> so I just hit a wall. I was fatigued, tried to get some rest. Of course, that was not easy because we've been having nasty weather like a lot of people across the United States. We'll talk about that. That's related to this shirt right here. Um, but yeah, like my, my bedroom in the middle of the night would light up with lightning. And then two seconds later, there was thunder. And then this alert would come on my phone saying lightning has been detected two miles from your location. It was rough. But here I am. I'm back feeling much better. Everything is fine. But I do want to talk about that weather that's going on across the country. If you, I don't know if you can see this. It says Nader Juice. <laughs> so some of you might recognize this as being from Ryan Hall's uh, shop, basically. So this was part of, I guess we could call it a fundraiser. A fundraiser he was having for victims of a storm. I think it was last year or something like that. So if you are experiencing bad weather or you're supposed to be experiencing bad weather, go to Ryan Hall, y'all. He is the best at tracking storms and giving people a heads up. And he and his team also help people who have experienced disasters. Okay, so I'm wearing this for awareness. <laughs> be safe out there, guys. Okay, so let's dive in. If you want to check out everything that I'm offering... Projects I'm working on, all that is in the description box, uh, including standard readings, live readings. I started designing journals, which has been a really fun project. There's all kinds of stuff there. So go and check that out. That card wants to come out immediately. Okay. So we'll do the general reading, and then we will break it down into groups. Let me tune in here. <laughs> they're already saying let them because I guess some of you are stressed that this is getting up um, later than expected please understand the only reason why I put dates on these videos is because otherwise they would get drowned out by astrological readings which are actually based on timing and a lot of people just have gotten accustomed to that to going to a date but really with angelic messaging it's timeless. So you could go back through the entire library that I have up and watch any of those. Okay, so let me put these <laughs> put these in order. The first card that came out was uh, King of Water. So what I'm feeling here, it feels like they're, this is very people heavy this week. All right, but King of Water, I'll just read it to you because you won't be able to see it. Trustworthy, compassionate, respected, cultured. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice charity work this feels in part that because I'm here and coming to peace with so some of you are embracing this energy for yourself and how you approach things but even as all these were coming out I felt like this might be someone who comes along and helps you realize where you need to get in touch with your emotions okay they're giving me more on this so this is this would be somebody who you might see as an authority figure. Um, and that doesn't have to be your boss or, you know, anybody in your family necessarily. It can be somebody who is just very wise and they have been through a lot. And so they're going to share something with you. And the reason why I think that's coming up and why that's so important is because of this. <laughs> Night of Fire, passionate, adventurous, self-assured, restless. The restless part is what I think is correlating with this king of water, right? It's that feeling of, I don't know what's ahead, nothing's set in stone. Some of you may have been experiencing a little more chaos in your life, you know, all of that. So it's almost like someone comes along who's, because the king is higher than the knight, who comes along and has, again, some information or just a perspective and shares it with you to kind of, Put out that fire a little bit, <laughs> not, not to make it so that you can't be passionate or whatever, but just helps you get things in alignment. All right. It says a sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. Think things through carefully. 
that's what this feels like. It's like someone coming along and saying, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. We know that things are a little crazy right now, but if you act too quickly, if you just go charging in completely from the need to just be the hero or to just take charge and be in control, you're missing something here. You're not listening to your heart. And I think that's what this king, whoever this person is, okay, it doesn't have to be someone in your life. It could be, you know, some of you hear on the radio, <laughs> do you know what I mean? They just have something wise to say that helps you get things under control because, you know, the night, I feel like the night is well trained, but trained to do one job. The king of water comes along to help you open that up and, you know, your way of doing things is not always going to work. So you're going to have to. Uh, broaden, as we keep saying, broaden that perspective. And here we go. We have the world. This helps foster a new beginning. Again, the, the key word here is expand. It's expansiveness, okay? Archangel Michael, a job well done. Joy, contentment, and gratitude, the path toward enlightenment. That feels very like this person, okay? It's somebody who has more experience than you coming forward and saying, hey, <laughs> Like, I know you've worked very hard to get to this place, but now if you're going to proceed, you have to be willing in some sense to let, I don't want to say the ego, but like, I am hearing like somebody has a chip on their shoulder. Someone has a chip on their shoulder and it's like, I've worked so hard to get to this place. This is the kind of thing I hear when people say, I went to college and I studied this and therefore, so that my college education doesn't go to waste. I'm going to force myself into this career that I tried to set up for myself when I was 18 years old and didn't even know who I was. Just sticking with that. The king of water comes in and says, that's not necessary. You can have a fresh start. And this has to do with, you know, the page of earth is, is usually, you know, or can be money, um, a deeper understanding of your material needs, how you connect into this density body, but this is brand new. This is brand new information. Okay. So you're basically going along and you think like, I got this. I got this. I know how to do this. But the world has changed. The world has changed. And therefore, we need to change. And our perspective, I keep saying this, the perspective needs to change. This says scholarly dependent, it's page of earth, scholarly dependable, patient and successful. Good news about financial matters. Wanting to do something more challenging a new area of study. Now, this brings us back to these three, right? This could be somebody coming forward with an offer, with uh, some information, and it's kind of like you've never done this before, right? And it's exciting. It's lovely. It's It feels very heavily like this person, whoever this king of water is, helps you understand that you don't need to struggle on your own helps you see what you have been missing because we get so hung up on an identity and usually an identity through something like career or you know what we stand for you know if it's a cause or something like that we get so defined by that that we don't see anything else okay so I'm not going to sit here and say that this is a comfortable time there might be a little bit of nervousness around all of this, but you'll be all right. And it might take you in a new direction entirely. Pearl, connect to the divine. The number is 25, reduces to seven. This is archangelic presence uh, connecting you to the divine, whatever, however you see the divine, God, source, creator, the universe, what have you. But this is saying, listen to the wisdom. Do not get into this place of, especially if you're younger, um, or even if you're my age, looking at people who are older than us and going, they're out of touch. They don't know. They may not know exactly how our lives go and the kind of world that we have come up in, but they still, their experiences are still valid. Okay. And of course you don't want to, you know, I always say be discerning. There are some people who are older generations who think they have a right to control everybody. And what that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about somebody who actually has your best interests at heart and they have some experiences that although they're not exactly yours 
they can translate. Okay, there, there's something there that with a disconnect. Yeah, they're saying a disconnect has occurred. And it could be getting so wound up in what's happening on the earth that, or opinions of others, or not being aware of the types of energies that go flowing around this planet, we get sucked into it. Next thing we know, we are disconnected from the divine. We are being run by people who you know, whatever kind of energy they're dealing with, we're run by it. This is encouraging and giving practical steps to getting back in touch and in alignment with the soul self, the physical self. And because of that, different choices are made. Okay, now that's going to vary from person to person. I always say if you want a personal reading, go to my website, angelsouls444.com. If you want a live session, you have to email me for that because it's depending on availability, angelsouls444. 444 at gmail.com uh but that that's what this week is <laughs> it's having to in a way change course but but i think you like it i think it's something that's like oh i i never even knew that this was a potential i didn't even know that that would be an interest of mine okay so there's that part and we're going to get into the groups Either group one, let's see what you have going on. If you did not watch the main part of the message, you just missed half of your message. So make sure you go back and watch that. I also encourage people to come back towards um, the end of the week or in a few days, what have you. Come on back and uh, see how that same reading is resonating for you. Okay, let's see. We have the moon. <laughs> so some intuitive hits. I felt that immediately as soon as this came out. This is Archangel Haniel. So realizing your strength is through the feminine aspects, uh, that, that is a powerful thing that you can reconnect with no matter what your gender is, okay? We all have feminine and masculine within us, and uh, this is asking you to tap into the feminine intuitive side. Again, Archangel Haniel, important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. The hidden is now seen. Okay, the hidden is now seen. So you get an intuitive hit. Now don't let, ego can mess up everything. Okay, you, you see this all the time. You see this with people who are like, my intuition says blah, 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 and therefore I'm right. That's not how intu intuition works. You get a feeling about something. Okay, you might get a vision. You might have a firm grasp of like, I think this is how it's going to play out. But you can never know for certain because we are on a plane with free will. Someone could change their mind like this and now we have a different outcome, okay? So we have to be careful with this. But definitely there's something that is, you're getting your answers. You're getting your answers. Four of water, missing an opportunity. This this feels like missing an opportunity because you're, uh, it's, it's not a fear, okay? So there might be something that has stressed you, caused concern. And so so that things don't get, <clears throat> pardon me, don't get out of control, you might clamp down, try to control it. And in so doing, you're not lifting your head up and seeing all that's possible, right? Missing an opportunity, uh, discontentment or boredom, open your eyes to the possibilities. So even if you get an intuitive hit, like whatever situation I'm in, it's no longer right for me, but I have to stay because I need the paycheck or I have to stay because everyone will be so disappointed 
you're realizing you have other things to do. Yeah, page of water. So that's a, to me, the pages, people say they're messengers. Um, okay, but to me, it's like, I'm going to release all that I thought that I knew. And I'm going to have a fresh start. Or I'm going to go back to the beginning and see what I missed, right? Um, everyone has their take. So page of water, uh, intuitive, sensitive, artistic, friendly. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase. Heightened psychic abilities. There's the, oh, I was going to say, I was seeing if the four of water said something about psychic stuff <laughs> as well. But with the moon and we have two water cards, maybe you are learning. Hopefully it's not the hard way, but you're learning how to use your intuition. To not just clamp down and say, this is how it is because I say so. Because <laughs> my, my intuition says so. You know, that's not it. We have the moon first and now we have the sun. So this is building up to your outcome. Archangel Uriel, happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. I'm telling you, there is a turn <laughs> happening here. It was coming up in the base reading for everybody. It's coming up very specifically for group one. Um, this is your outcome. You're finding a new way to express yourself, a new way. Can I say a new way to live? I don't know. If, for example, you've always had a job where you were out in the public eye and, you know, everyone had access to you, they start getting a sense of entitlement, you know, all of that. Maybe now you're pulling back on that and saying, no, I'm going to work on something by myself quietly where not everybody has access to me. It could go the other way. If you, you know, you're a freelancer, you work at home, maybe you get out there and you start, you know, interacting with people more. So whatever it is, it's going to be very specific to each person, but there's a definite turnabout and unexpected opportunities. Once you do listen to your intuition and you look up, you're going to realize the sun is shining and here's something that you can <laughs> be a part of. We had the sun and now we have lemon. That is solar plexus, guys. I'm telling you, something's going to, I feel like it could be uplifting for a lot of people. That's not going to be everybody. Sometimes people, their solar plexus is so out of whack. This is where we have people who are like overly confident, convincing themselves that they are perfect and whatever, and that is going to get thrown back into your face. So just be aware of that. Lemon access innovative thinking. The number is 23, reduces to five. This is change in a beautiful way, but it's change in how, yeah, how you show up in life, but how you allow yourself to express your thoughts, your emotions, all of that. So doing it in a kind way that's not, you know, putting anybody down. But also this is about, for a lot of you watching this, believing in yourself. Not in the way of, that's right, I'm the best that ever was. No, you can't just say it. You have to be it. And that's a thing that a lot of people, as time goes on, they're not going to be okay with that. Because this is a shallow world. We have been trained to tune out our intuition, our emotions. Just look at how the feminine energy is seen. And I was just explaining, well, not explaining, but talking to somebody about this. And, uh, you know, because it was something around the feminine energy and how it had been suppressed. Well, feminine energy, psychic abilities, emotions, those are a powerhouse. So it makes sense that it was lowered, seen as weak, seen as less than. This is the comeback. This is the comeback story, okay? So we're going to leave it there for you guys and get on to group two. Hi there, group two. Let's see what is going on for you. If you did not watch the base reading, you missed half of your reading, okay? So make sure you go back and see that. Of course, these are general readings. If you want a personal reading, angelsouls444.com for standard readings. And please read what you are purchasing. Thank you. Uh, and if you want a live reading, you have to email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. Okay, group two. All right. <laughs> I just heard good little student. I, for some of you, I think you're going to realize that you've been a good student. Even in times where it felt like nothing was moving forward, you were still doing well. So we'll get into it. 
A lot of uh, Earth cards here. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Let's put these in order here as they came out. First out was Seven of Earth, Seeds Well Planted, A Temporary Pause in Action, Unnecessary Worry. That's that thing of why isn't anything coming to fruition? What is going on? Uh, and watching, a lot of you are really watching the world. You're really watching uh, nuanced energies coming to light. Why is that? Well, things that have been talked about, maybe behind the scenes, is now coming out to the forefront. And so some of you are realizing, whoa, that stuff that we thought was a conspiracy theory, there was some truth to that. Now, I'm in this, you know, this whole realm of work. I have also seen conspiracy theorists who are complete... Cluster B types who just want to hang on to a story and control everybody from it. Again, discernment. Okay, <laughs> lean on your intuition. But you have been learning. You've been learning well. Okay. Then we have two of earth. And it says too much going on at once. The need to make a decision. Consider a more playful approach. You know, I was just saying like how you're watching the world and what's going on in it. Part... Okay, hold on. There's uh, Okay, so they're saying not to negate all the experience that you have. But you might realize, okay, I'm allowing my, my attention to be pulled in too many different directions. Uh, this is not serving me. Or for some of you, and this is the secondary part, um, some of you are having people make you feel guilty for not being there for them. Right? When, and I'm, talk, I'm not talking about people who actually have stuff going on. And they could use a support system. I'm talking about the people who are always victimizing themselves so that everybody has to fawn over them. And then if you don't, then you're the evil one. You know, move away from that. There's too much pulling on your energy. And as I say, move away from it. We have eight of water. A desire to move on. The search for something more meaningful, spiritual, and emotional growth. This could be some of you moving from a situation, but I feel like this is for this group in particular, there's like a heavy energy here of I'm not putting up with this treatment anymore. This is not speaking to those who think that you can, you have no experience and you can just walk into a job and be the boss. And when they won't let you be the boss, you throw fit and walk out. <sighs> We're not talking to those people. Okay. <laughs> We're talking to people who, you know, this might be the scapegoat. And you say, I'm no longer going to be anybody's scapegoat. It's an emotional walking away. I'm going to do what's right for me emotionally. Now, if this is you walking away from, say, a relationship, a job, whatever, a dynamic, or however you want to define that, it is because you realize it is it is toxic. And it's not it's not your highest good. And we have nine of fire. Don't give up. Protect. Sorry. Protect. That which you've created, have courage and believe in yourself. So this is hard, right? We, you know, these are two different elements, but we have eight and then we have nine. It's like, it has a feeling of like, okay, I'm, I'm strong in the moment. I'm going to make this decision, but then I feel really beat up because maybe the people I walked away from went on a smear campaign or just started talking about, just do a return to sender on the energy, uh, shield yourself the angelic approach, okay? I say return to center because a lot of people are familiar with that. But the angelic approach is to heal the situation in the highest good of everyone involved. And then you step back. You don't put how it gets healed. You're not requesting ill will on anybody. The energetic balancing, if you want to see it as karma balancing, will then naturally occur. So I have had people who have, just as an example, who have done some pretty evil things towards me. And I ask for a healing of the situation. The person loses their job. They're disgraced. They had a fall from grace. And I've had some people, I think it's my Scorpio. <laughs> I'm a stellium Scorpio. I guess I, for some people, that's a little spooky. I don't know. But they kind of look at me like, what'd you do? And I'm like, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything but heal the situation. The karma expressed in the way it needed to. 
I did not do that to that person. They did it to themselves. So that higher frequency approach can be just healing the situation. Again, make sure you're being careful because anger can make us want <laughs> revenge or something like that. Just make sure there's no revenge within it. Let it unfold the way it needs to. This can also play out in another very beautiful way where you end up getting more information about a person and maybe you had jumped to conclusions about them, but you got more information and now you understand where they're coming from and it can heal the situation in that way too, right? So just be aware. Green, revitalize your nervous system. Number is 31, reduce us to four. So do a lot of, I mean, whatever this is, it was incredibly stressful. And it feels like, I gotta be honest, the seven of earth feels like, I've known for a long time I don't wanna be in this situation. I can't take much more of this, right? The two of earth. For my mental, it's not it's not an air card, but <laughs> for my mental and emotional health, I need to walk away. But man, am I going to get beat up on the way out? I, that's some of you. Some of you. And then the green, I think is indicating you've made it. You're well supported by your angels. And it's just time in a way to kind of lay low and sit with your thoughts, do your meditating, do whatever self-care you need to do. All right. So we're going to leave it there for you guys and get on to group three. Hi there, group three. Let's see what's going on for you. If you did not watch the first part of this video, you missed half of your message. So you might want to go back and check that out. I encourage everybody, watch this through once. In a couple of days, come back and watch it again. See, not to do the thing of, did the predictions come to pass? Come on. Okay, <laughs> like let's move past that. That's one sliver of spirituality. It's not everything. It's fascinating. It could be very useful, but like there's more to it. Okay, there's much more. Come back in a couple of days and watch it again to see how the messages now land. The first time you listen to an angelic message, you might, because they can be deep or foreshadowing, right? You don't necessarily know what it means in the moment sometimes, but you will once you have let a few days go by. Okay, so if you want a personal reading, angelsouls444.com, that's for the standard readings. If you would like a live video reading with me, email me because it's based on availability. Email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. All right, we got the chariot out, king of water that came up in the base reading, the empress, knight of water. <laughs> Well, you have the best group ever, okay? Let's get into why you have the best group ever. Something you've been waiting on, the number is seven on the chariot card. So this in angelic numbers is indicating archangelic energy, archangelic help. It can also talk about being where you need to be on a soul level. That does not mean that it looks a certain way on the surface. Uh-uh. You could be having just lost your job and, and on the surface you're like oh no what am I going to do how am I going to do this how am I going to do that but on a soul level that's what you needed to do you needed to move on okay so first and foremost we have we have this big energy around this the chariot is forward movement um it's bursting out of the gate it's I don't know I always get attracted to the uh, two horses because and you'll see here there's uh, a black horse and a white horse course there's two it always to me says duality but then there's metatron okay there's metatron on this card now metatron is a big energy metatron is about ascension he's about um helping humanity by documenting things that have occurred okay he's the sacred scribe um so something that's in your highest good it's about to open up and you're going to be going right into it an important achievement, self-discipline, and willpower, public recognition. I didn't write this deck. I don't like how that's put because then that puts it into an ego framing, which isn't great. But something gets moving. Be careful because <laughs> there's a little bit of a surprise element here. It's like, I'm going this way. No, you're not. You're going over here. <laughs> like that's That's kind of what's going on. And I say that because we have the king of water. Let me just read this. Trustworthy, compassionate, respected, cultured. Open your heart and mind to those around you. 
trustworthy and heartfelt advice. The reason why I kinda said you're you're gonna kinda get flowed this way, it's because of the king of water. It's almost I just immediately got this vision of you're you're going about your way and then a wave comes and redirects you. And it could be by a person, okay? Or an aspect of yourself that now comes forward. And it could be scary. It could be scary. For those of you who are not used to riding the wave, right? It could feel like, can I keep my balance? Am I going to get through this? The answer is yes, because we have the Empress. So she is all about creative life force. This It has Archangel Gabriel on here. The number three, those are ascended masters. It, it indicates ascended masters. And this is lavish abundance. Give birth to your dreams. Nurture yourself and others. Uh, you got a lot of water here. So these are all divine feminine aspects. So something, you find a window. It's like a window that you go through and you're like, I can do that. Let me do this, right? So the Empress is giving birth to a new chapter, um, crafting something that you already know how to do. That That's coming up. Like you already know how to do this. But now you're realizing how you can bring it to fruition. How can it fit into... <coughs> Sorry. I keep trying to edit those out. I don't know if I will catch all of them. But there's something here where it's um, artistic, it's um, communicative, okay? And it can be emotional, but it's expression, okay? In, in the highest way, the most beautiful way. And then you guys have Nine of Water, which is the wish card. It says your wish comes true, concerns fade away, a love of life. Something is about to break open, okay? And it is... It's in a beautiful, high-frequency kind of way. But yeah, your wish does come true. If you are watching this and you say, Oh, my wish is for my ex to come back. <laughs> Just going to get on to the color card. Uh, here's, Michelle, you're so judgmental. No, I see things. Okay? I know things. <laughs> But this line of work and my own life experiences, don't try me. I already know this stuff. Okay. Peach, inhale a breath of life. <laughs> the number is 19. I would say this peach feels, I don't know, I associate peaches with summer, fun, relaxing. But what's really also hitting me is this is inhale a breath, the inhale a, a breath of life. I don't know what that means. Um, where's the other one? Breathe. A love of life. That's what I was looking for. On the wish card here, look at this. It's like fall in love with life all over again because something has been holding you up. Now, maybe your wish is to be in love. And so you think that that love is associated with an ex. Listen, a lot of people, sometimes I can't sit here and put a blanket statement on it because sometimes people, <coughs> sorry, have to relearn their lesson over and over and over again. So maybe they will go back to an ex. Or you might find that you were hung up on an ex, just as an example, or a situation of any kind, and then you realize, I'm free of that, right? Something comes through, you're able to finally let go, and then that just really opens your energy for opportunities, <laughs> okay? It is absolutely beautiful. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love, and take care.